Hello and welcome back to the Outer Worlds with your story Lord Ginger the Mad. Now we're just looking into some various things, aren't we? Okay, so and you've come back here to prepare now. I could probably spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. Yeah, break time's over. Hey. If you're gonna spend that long on the ship, I won't mind, but I can also understand if you would want to go and uh, spend some time with uh, a lady friend. And that also I don't mind. Hi. Good to see you, boss. So how'd you end up on the Groundbreaker? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. And then you were raised by Becca Spratz, right? That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. I spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. It means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. You were a stowaway? That's what they called us. Orphans with no family, no company to take us in, nowhere to go but the back bays. The word's a touch kindlier than rung leech, but the meaning's just as clear. If you can't support your own self, you don't deserve to be on the Groundbreaker. That's how it is in this car. Nobody gives a damn about you. That's exactly what I've been saying. The system doesn't care about the individual. We're only as valuable as our jobs. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. Foreman and I never got on. Right, the incident with the dust ball stick. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint. But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick, that felt good. That felt real good. You wanna try it. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not good enough. If you have a disagreement, I expect you to be civilized. Oh, I can do civilized. Proper civilized too. Genuflecting and everything. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. I'm glad you're not wasting your life on boxes. Yeah, I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Okay, uh, anything else? Good to see you, boss. Did I get to talk to you about? No. Also, one and two being so close together is weird. Sam is just chilling. Okay, there's Petunia. There's the book now. Hey, didn't you have that book already? Hmm. Because I thought I thought I. Hmm. What? Oh, looks like someone here has a new cabin that I can loot. Signed by the two of the greatest players in the league, Sharon and Freeman Fraser. I guess this is... Violence is not the answer, violence is the question, the answer is yes. Okay. That's usually thought about sex, no? Can ancient Khan rescue Auntie Cleo from the clutches of the weekenders? And in praise of Austin, the contraband collection of essays by an anonymous anarchist called for total destruction of the corporate establishment and the apparatus of oppression. The box looks like it's never been opened. Fair enough. And here we have Mechanical Engineer. Phoenix brought this book with him from the ground pack. It looks unopened. Uh, you should... Uh... Felix Churn figured I should write, start writing my thoughts down just in case I ever start losing my mind. <gasps> Dark matter, knock you out. Oh yes. I love chocolate. And that's still the band literature. Oh. Uh, well worn, these beats have been used often to contemplate the six pillars of scientism. Survival of the fittest, nature opposes equality, equality that is strong survival, the weak perish from, for the betterment of the whole. Ugh. Determinism. We are all molecular machines, the body is a collection of atoms, the mind is a consequence of, of chemical reactions, our lives are therefore predestined, predestined along a path that is only visible in retrospect. In fairness, humanity's form in survival of the fittest is actually just that our, we are back animals and we keep everyone coming 
bringing along. At least, that is how we've survived thus far. Empiricism, the only real knowledge, is uh, that which we can observe, quantify and measure for ourselves. Scientific experimentation is the only way to understand the elaborate blueprint of the universe. Stoicism, reason, not emotion, is the seat of morality. Wisdom means accepting the vicissitudes of life with great and dignity. Theological order, all things have a reason for existing and the purpose to fulfill the purpose of humanity is to eventually unlock and solve the universal equation. Patronage of science, the purpose of humanity is realized through scientific achievement. Advancements in science and technology bring humanity closer to fulfilling its role in the cosmos. Which is why people who actually would make for good scientists are set up to just stay in what you call what was it? Uh, in a bar. What you reading, Max? Doing work there. If I tell you, will you leave me alone? Probably not. What is it with you and folks anyway? Some of us like to improve ourselves, Doctor Van Hill. No, I mean keeping those paper books. You got the data pad. Why waste the cargo space? You one of those people who wears reading glasses to look smart? Was this your conversation that I was not supposed to miss out on? Okay, so there's a drainage here. Oh, there's the shower! It's, it's so... So tiny. I didn't realize that that was it. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. Ruminating What's about what? What's occupying your thoughts? Uh, nothing really. Have fun. Ooh. Yes. Yes. We will uh, sell all of our food supplies. We don't really need it, do we? Oh, and. For disinfecting equipment, probably. Mysterious bottle of hooch. <laughs> it's distressed. Bullet reader better check. Okay. Lots of steady hands. Scissors for cores. Scalpels for wounds. And hand of laser bones for flawless complexion. Steam lotion. What's that bigger bottle? No idea. But where did she wander off to now? Downstairs, maybe? Captain? Oh, you're here. Something on your mind? I was just wondering. I was told that you were having an incident with Max, and then I just got there, and you were just asking about books. Messages for Andrew's Injury from E Plane. This is just to let you know that I've given out the rest of the you know what to the you know who's. Sorry for the secrecy, you never really know who's reading these things. I appreciate you giving me the time of day, you risked your neck heading into the community center, I'm grateful, but I also appreciate if you'd never told another soul about our business. I like my job, and I should like to keep it. No, oh, and other? From Tennyson. But what the attitude is ever, so here goes. There's this agency, and it arms really nice, like a box of cats playing with mice. But she's coughing and hacking up sludge, cause there's a blockage that just won't budge. What's an engine to do? And this ranger strides in like a shark, hair all done up and fancy and dark. She feels a spasm in her compression alternator. Trembling cause it's aching to meet her. What's an engine to do? I've got uh, five more stanzas mapped out, but I'm having trouble rhyming some of the parts, and so I just get back to you on that. Time to root, message with my ranger. We were talking about old friends, you know, and I got uh, to thinking about Isabel. I don't know what I was thinking, I don't know what she was thinking. We were a mess, a good mess, but a mess. I'm a better me than I was then, more to want you to know, and even when I drink too much, I have to hold a recipe. And you're... You're pretty swell about it, he. Damn you, it's a spell check. Meet my wrench. Did I just kind of put my head down for... Okay. Uh, first time result. Do not forget you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical in Emerald Vale scrap heap during your last job. It should be not be too difficult to get it up and running. With a few key modifications, I can envision a combat combat com, capable variant. <laughs> I'm having trouble pronouncing things. Uh, some might say a clean, mean killing machine should be fun. Removal of factory standard part SUDS steeper was successful. 
Uh, delivery of combat modified replacement spot acid steeper has been delayed. Progress setback by estimate now to be solid three months. Not like I have pressing matters to attend to. Ah, but I do. I'm giving up hope on the delivery. The bot is lost in transit and it's not turning up anytime soon. But good news. I heard from a fellow who knows a can who knows the broker. Who will charge me for the information regarding the location of the acid steeper I can uh, filch. The bot was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Gaunti abandoned it years ago. I pick it up. I pick it up following the next pit stop back to Emerald Vale. Guns wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Titus to come later. <gasps> That's me. I am the person of interest. Damn if I ain't the person of interest. Mm. At least that's what I will, I will tell myself. Felix, you are running a grenade launcher and a tossball stick. That sounds about right. Ooh. 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 So you actually do hand out pretty interesting effects, but I sort of want to run with the girls, you know? They're good girls. Right. Uh, so I am interested in taking a look at Sapphire Vine, the cleaning machine, and the empty man. I assume I can just have Sam become a friend in that regard. Alright, Ellie and Parvati. Okay, so silence is good for upgrading your weapons. Hey, that pad down there, with the lights off, there are people unloading a ship. Probably another sublight contract hall. Could be drugs. Should be bootleg aetherwave cartridges. Uh, did I um, search everything in this direction? I feel like I might not have. Also, I don't have everyone armored as well up as I could have. I should probably change that. Yeah. At least they aren't uh, stopping us at customs anymore. In fairness. I technically have not yet left. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? I don't know. There's a free table here. Uh, I can't sit there. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. You're new to the whole loosening up thing. How about wine? Well, that's fruit and such, right? Okay, wine it is. Bottoms up. Good choice for getting sloshed when you want to act fancy about it. Wow, this is really kind of nice, actually. Who'd have guessed old fruit could taste so good? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Generally or specifically? I mean, just with June Lei. I don't know what to do about us. Start by telling me why her message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. No one sends terrible, vaguely sensual poetry to someone they don't like. Exactly. Takes a lot of trust to hand over that kind of blackmail material. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd call it uh, sensual. That's a lot. The poem implied you calming her with a touch. That's romance serial great stuff. It did. Oh dear, I hadn't really... Oh my goodness. And I told you? Let's read it right now, just to be sure. What did she actually write in the message? You haven't said, I did read the message. It's in my It thingy. was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? She might. Thinking so makes me liable to lose my lunch, Captain. I never... I never done this before. A relationship. 
How do I know if she cares the same way I do? I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Let's get you some water. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Aw, this was just about to get fun. Shush you. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but oh, I'm so scared. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together and she gets bored of me? There's an easy way to get answers to all those questions. Oh, there's nothing easy about about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later she's not? So you're afraid of disappointing her? What if I can't make her happy? You won't know until you try. Yeah, yeah, I know you're right. I just wish it were that easy, is all. I'm not used to speaking free with folks. Back in Edgewater, there wasn't no one who wanted to know my mind. Excepting my dad. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. We all do. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. So, are you going to ask her out? Oh, gosh. I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Don't ask for my opinion, but even yourself. Okay. I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Well, we have our ship. That's... That's pretty quiet. Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people can rest easy because of you. What do you think of the new guy, Felix? He seems like a nice boy to me. I'm glad you gave him a shot. He didn't seem very bright. Not many folk have big pulsating space brains like you. I mean, sure, he's a bit rough around the edges. I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path. All right, <laughs> I forgot I pretty much maxed my intelligence, didn't I? You seriously think I'm the right sort to put him in the right course in life? You might surprise yourself. Well, oh, maybe. How are you doing? Something on your mind? Uh, no mind. Let's go. So it's for what that can. Oh, my stomach's a little upset. Maybe drinking don't agree with me. Yeah? I, I mean, what do you need? A captain? Mister? Sir? Something you need? Uh, it's okay. Then. But it seems like we are either going to go to Chunlei right now and put Parvati to it. Or, uh, nah, let's, let's keep them having their nice messages. They can keep it uh, long distance for the moment. It'll be fine. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? My cargo. Cargo Schmargo. We don't even have anything on our ship. Not even fish. Not even fish. I'm not entirely sure why we want need to have fish. That long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship. Are you sure about that? 
Don't, don't, well, don't you like to Captain. talk to the, my crew? How can I be of assistance? Uh, know anything about my auto mechanical getting dust in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. I picked up this distress call. Can you play it back for me? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed! For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Good minute to talk? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. What if you don't have a power source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. Perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on A Lost Hope? I guess so. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. And what might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Oh. What about your last captain? Do you miss him, or is one captain the same as another? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Have there been other captains of the ship? If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. Let's talk about something else. How can I be of assistance? Uh, I'd like to learn more about the colony. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Phineas's orbital lab. Ah, yes. As Dr. Wells is a wanted outlaw, he built his laboratory into an asteroid. Orbital destinations can be challenging to land on. His more so than most. What do you know about Phineas? There is a bounty on his head. One with a markedly high reward amount. Shall I engage the laser weapon system? No, do not do that. A sensible choice, as we do not have any laser weapons. Aww. Why do you say the landing might be rough? The outlaw scientist known as Dr. Phineas V. Wells has taken a measure of precautions to make the lab undetectable to those hunting him. Even knowing the location, my systems resist my orders to go where I instruct them. I want to talk about somewhere else. Of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Uh, Terra 2? Where in Terra 2? Emerald Vale and Edgewater. Edgewater is the sparkling county seat of Emerald Vale, or it was when first built. Since then, neglect and time have worn away her shiny veneer. The town is near the coordinates where Captain Hawthorne died. It would not be unfortunate if something, like say, a plague, were to wipe Emerald Vale from the face of the planet. What do you think of the townspeople? You mean the ones who did not answer my distress call with medical assistance, but instead came to issue my injured captain a parking ticket? I'm sure they are wonderful humans who don't deserve to be wiped out by starvation or a devastating plague. Fair enough. How is age water faring since we left it? Since you diverted power to the deserters, the botanical lab is thriving. However, Emerald Vale's cannery shut down, leading to a total collapse of Edgewater's population. Thank you, Captain. 
You're welcome. I guess you get your, got course. your satisfaction. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Uh, the Groundbreaker. We're clear to dock with the Groundbreaker if that's your desired destination. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardets take their docking laws quite seriously. Of course. Uh, you can take care of that for us, right? I can, yes. Let me add that to my list of 1,435,498 tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. Thank you. You are more than welcome, Captain. Uh, give me the spiel on the Groundbreaker. The Groundbreaker was Halcyon's original colony ship. It has since been repurposed as a service station in the Lagrange point of the system. Freighters often deliver or pick up goods from the Groundbreaker en route to other destinations. The city ship hosts an array of cargo bays, factories, housing sections, and more. Many of Halcyon's companies maintain office spaces with stationed representatives in what is considered a truly neutral territory within the system. I have filed the required docking forms in triplicate, and fees have been paid. Thank you. Let's talk about of somewhere course. else. What Tell me about Monarch. Would you like to discuss? Where in Monarch? Oh, there's multiple options. Tell me about Stellar Bay. Ah, Monarch, the armpit of the Halcyon system. Her last functioning port town is Stellar Bay. Well, that is if you don't count Sublight Smuggler's Port at Fallbrook. Smuggler's Port? It's Sublight run for the purpose of shipping contraband. And before you ask, I don't know the coordinates, so I can't dock us there. Uh, why is Monarch being blockaded? I believe it has something to do with the planet being an uninhabitable wilderness and a lawless land with no corporate presence. You may wish to survey the residents in Stellar Bay for additional data points. Uh, I want to ask about somewhere else. Of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Uh, some more about Where the Monarch. Monarch. I want to ask you about Cascadia. Warning. All colonists are urged to reconsider travel to Cascadia due to infestation of mantasaurs and risk of indefinite detention or death. Any people live in Cascadia aside from marauders? There are no people aside from marauders in Cascadia. There is only death. What's the local report? The local report is that you will very likely die if you leave Cascadia's landing pad. Sounds dangerous. This is one of those times where you say one word, but really mean another, isn't it? I suppose you would find an environment like this fun. Let's talk about somewhere else. Of course. What I part of the colony would you like to discuss? I forgot to ask you about uh, where Roseway. Where to? Roseway. Any crew traveling to Roseway will find themselves unofficially in officially uncharted space. Roseway has been removed from all Halcyon charts, and anything I could tell you, I can't tell you, because it's illegal. Why was Roseway removed from corner of the, from corner of the map? Why what? else do humans do anything? I believe the decision was a result of money squabbles. I wish I could say more, but as I previously stated, it is against Colony Ordinance C59-002Y. I'm not concerned about legality still anyway. Ah, uh, here we go. Due to catastrophic financial losses, Redacted reportedly abandoned the town, shutting down 99.2% of all operations. However, there is an unsubstantiated rumor that Redacted, in actuality, continued to secretly develop Redacted products by experimenting on Redacted imported from Redacted how very revealing. I'm gonna... Uh, I think it How was... Or the Cleos operation, right? I made a mood for some entertainment. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Ada, tell me a joke. Two atoms were strolling through Roseway when one of them exclaimed, I think I lost an electron. Really? The other asked. Are you sure? Yes, I'm absolutely positive. Ada, play my favorite song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. Is that my favorite? It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Is that my favorite song? 
That's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. That's enough As for now. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Thanks for that. Talk to you later, Ada. See you soon, Captain. Okay, so we should probably head over to our next planet. Hey, you are for talking again? Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. You only tried the wine. Uh, glad to hear it. I wouldn't mind having a drink again. Someday. In the distant future. Anyway. I messaged Junlei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Were there any funny typos? Oh, she called mashed potatoes smashed potatoes, but I think maybe that's just what they call them on Groundbreaker. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So chun does like you, and she says it in the most awkward way possible. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. You're welcome. Hey. Something busted, Captain? No, no. I hope you're doing okay. I'm glad you're having fun. Very happy for her. She deserves all the best. <gasps> Let's see if any of the messages got into my mail mailbox. No. No. Unless? No. There's a message from that I was... Hawthorne sent messages to you, Bedford. Look, there's no call for shouting. My terminal was busted. It had a few too many and might have knocked it off the desk. You know how it is. Sometimes you just gotta cut loose. I'm not telling you where Wells is, so lay off. Buy me a drink at the lost top next time I'm in, and I might forgive you. Huh. I, th I think that's one that we did not previously notice. Uh, is there anything new in the logs, maybe? No. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, we have a few important leads. So obviously I'm going to the relay. Welcome hey. back, Captain. How are we How doing? How can I be of assistance? Does she, do you always fly this fast? May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Wait. Are you sure luck doesn't exist? Huh. You're right. I guess it doesn't. Alright, let's go take a look at this relay. Let's go. Hello? 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 It's a touch different from the ones I've seen. Shouldn't be so hard to get it patched up though. Perfect spot for some peace and quiet. There's some auto mechanicals about. Careful with those, they might be programmed to kill all intruders. That's a lot of defenses. Why did that drone just explode while I was picking a lock? What sort of a. Okay. Who builds things to function like that? Here we go. 
Okay, it seems to me like something here wants me dead. They won't try that again. And it seems to me like there's a lot more enemy markers now than there were before. Cool. Can I disarm this somehow, or is this just a part of the thing? I've had to start a new journal. I cannot read my previous entries without the whispers tempting me. The whispers do not stop. Every person I see, the whispers tell me to help, 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 help them. So they show me the pain and longing hiding in their eyes. They tell me how these people want no need the gifts I give. What it would take is a few moments if I played. A bright, bright, bright fountain of crimson to light the eyes and all of their pain would be gone. I could do it. I know how to help them. It gets harder and harder to stop myself. I saw a friend today, an old friend from school who's now a doctor for Aunt Cleo, I told him about my dreams, nothing I've tried, oh no, I'm, I'm not so foolish as that. I told him it was an old book I found that described my dreams and whispers as happening to a character in the book. I asked him how he'd help with this character, he looked at me and he knew, he knew, he knew. The whispers told me to end his pain, that he'd tell, he'd tell. I got up and left quickly, I did not hurt him, not, not, I, I'd had to live present him, he will tell, tell, tell. He'll come to me and lock me away. I must find a secret place, a place I can be alone, a place with no whispers. Is this place sufficiently whisperless for you? Also, I still don't understand what killed this drone. It just exploded when I wasn't looking. Well, I saw it from the corner of my eye, but that's about it. Why did you die, sir? I can't hack you, sir. In fairness, I didn't actually check if this guy was big me. Yeah. I for I I just I just remembered that's the thing we have access to now. So odds are I'm just gonna use the ability that is closer to my finger that's that's usually reserved for E and the like. Okay, deep fried 60 bits and hmm, some good food on this platform. Good food indeed. Okay, that's empty. This probably isn't. That's not empty at all. I think I'm over in combat again. That's fine. I mean, we can go on a ship and... Well, we can go on our ship and uh, dismantle the items there. That's not gonna be an issue at all. Oh, I'll take that. As always, these are handy. Okay. The Whispers have a source and have found it, found it. I have taken refuge in an orbital relay station. It is smaller than a worker's hovel, barely a few thousand square meters. Uh-huh. But sufficient for my needs. I was able to flee Byzantium with enough bits to purchase his supplies to last for decades. It was a strange being among common people on the ground breaker. The whispers barely stirred at the sight of their ill-fed, scarred and unwashed bodies. If only there were fewer frighted stock in here, bringing real people from Byzantium. I could almost have made a home free of temptation. Free, free. As I made this place livable, or as much as it can be, I started hearing the whispers from the relay terminal. They told me to listen to the voices traveling through the ether to reach me, calling out to me to help them alone, alone, needing my help. I've been thought a way to power down the transmitter, no more voices in the ether, and no more whispers. They fell silent, silent, silent. This was not me, it's not, it's not. I'm not this far thing that I have feared for so long. It was the voices in the ether trying to make me hurt others, but I was stronger than they. And I have defeated them. Them. Them! I have already begun making plans to return to my home, and that the whispers are defeated, I can resume my life again. I can't wait to return. I miss my family and co-workers so much, especially Lila. I have a suspicion that he might still be here. Also, let's take a look at this armor I have. I think I had some retrofitted heavy armor again, which isn't the best thing around. Also, overhaul power helmet. Oh, where the goggles? Where the goggles? No card. No offense. Anti riot gear. What is this? On this. I'm just replacing my outfit instead of doing 
the alternative which was would be to you know do something different to it. And you can have this overhauled power helmet, it's fine. And uh, once I find the station again, I'm gonna put the, a skill kit on this. Also, this one needs an armor kit on it. Not sure if I should get that from an armor or something else. Hey, Senator. Hope you're doing fine. Okay, so let's get these cartridges. Can you read that for me? Thank you. Hammer top. Oh, they're still alive. Maybe I should use my actually upgrade weapon. Thanks for taking down the throne. Did he put uh, my thing in her? Gosh. He's dead, Amy. Oh. Hey. He certainly looks dead. I was so wrong, wrong, wrong. The resources did not stop, not, not. They have returned. They howl, howl, howl at me. They're demanding I return home and bathe the streets in crimson, bright prince and beautiful crimson. I can think of only one way to end this. End, end. Forgive me, Delilah. Oh. Well, yeah, that's... It is about how these things usually end up going, isn't it? You look like you're still alive, sir. Alright, so there's some showers here. Yeah? Hmm. So it was actually... Security Auto Mechanical Manual. The instructions printed in this manual have been covered by a mostly legible scroll. Entire paragraphs are crossed out with frantic lines of dark ink. In some places, the pages are torn through the, from the force of whoever has visited the pen. One section described with correct procedures for setting out the mechanicals and proper charging schedule is mostly untouched. Random letters with the text are circled as though the owners were trying to discover some hidden message within. Ooh, that's not what I had in mind, uh, as far as buttons go. That's fine. Bit cartridge, another mag pick. Down and country clothing. Last night in dream that it was beautiful. The streets of Byzantium were decorated with crimson streamers that laughed in the breeze. They asked me to take them, to give them to my special ones. I gathered the crimson in my arms and felt so alive, so happy. I turned to Delilah and Delilah was beside me. I did not question why my supervisor was there. Her eyes were so full of the emotions I know she feels, but there's not show at work. Oh no. I wrapped her neck in crimson, drying, tying it tight as a scarf on a gold day, so beautiful. Then the crimson on her neck opened as a second mouth and began screaming, screaming. When I woke, I was scared. The dreams are so real now, and this time I recognized the face. I had to leave work early today. Every time I looked at the line, I had to whisper in my mind about how beautiful she would look. If a touch of crimson on her neck, her neck. This must stop. This is not who I am. This is not who I will become. I must find help. Okay. Well, he just managed to get off that particular option. Display unit status. Zero mechanical set to charging routine. Six mechanical set to patrol designated areas. Hostility level killed on site. Hostility override for owners. Active list of valid owners. Alexander J. Frey. Update security routines. Begin charging cycle. And return to route exit. I'm not sure if there was anyone still alive. But then you know, I might as well charge up some. Okay, I think there was one door we must have missed. I'm gonna guess it was this one. Right. You gotta teach me that. I could teach you, but I'd have to charge. My lockpick spring tape. Go to the yard? Maybe. Well, I haven't 
found the way to turn this place back online yet, have I? Might be because I haven't set myself on a quest. I want the distress signal solution vital. Uh, no, 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 we need location. Solution vital, scavenge in the sky, doom that came to gross way, the distress signal, weapons from the void, the silent voices. Yeah, that's the one we want. So this is, this is the, right, I did notice this one. Activate relay to transmit the pathway is synced. Contact the power, the power is stable. Okay, good. Copy completed. And... We can head back to our ship now. Excellent. I should go and dismantle some things. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? You have... You have cows! <laughs> like, there is no reasonable way why I would have them, but that's hey, fine. Captain, I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. Is it about the cows? Uh, sure, what do you need? I was thinking about what you said before. After we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and... And ask Junlei to go steady, straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. Bringing her home to meet the family, huh? Bold move. Oh gosh, do you think so? I just figured, you know, there's nowhere she can go on Groundbreaker where folks don't know her. Here she can relax. Good for you. Any way I can help? I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like. Like this? I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease, and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days, and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for bath supplies. Easy enough. We could head straight over. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to come with. Of course. Uh, well, in fairness, that is where we are going to take our woolly cows. Woolly. So woolly. And such cows. Why do we have those balls stick here? Okay, let's break down some shh. Let's break it down. I have a feeling I just might have uh, accidentally dropped off something I did not intend to. In which case, oops. Okay, let's do something good with this. We have a toughened armor. That's fine. More physical armor rating. Then we can have... Yeah, this seems pretty good. Making me invulnerable for a while. And... Didn't I have... Oh, no, I did not. For some reason I thought I had a higher class uh, silver tank kit available as well, but that's fine. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Okay, we have a pretty solid set of armor. I could probably afford to tinker with it a bit. Oh hey, I have 10,000 bits, I could just go and buy the nav thing. Okay, and my anti riot gear is in pretty good shape as well. The sword rifle is expensive. Hey, uh, Parvati? I want to offer you this mace. Or should I give you the silencer? Uh, let's just, just take this one for now. It seems like it would be good amounts of fun. I should also keep an eye out for... Better weapons, I guess? You like two-handed melee weapons. Could give you a shovel. But I think your telescopic stuff is probably better than that. You have an officer's spine. I mean, that's pretty good. And Felix has a tossball stick as well as a grenade launcher. Right. So that's not something I need to concern myself about right now. What do we do with the cows? 
Tell me where did the cows come from? I'm I'm sure you know. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Where did the cows come? I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Okay. If that's if sleeping is what you do, then of course. We've arrived at the groundbreaker. Nice. Out of curiosity, was this ship? Yeah, it's ship was probably built in this system. Makes sense. Right, 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 right. And we need to go shopping for Have some things as well. Okay. I'm on that. Okay, let's start looking around. I know Moonboy said that he sells soap, but I don't know if that is the kind of soap you would want. Don't bite the sun. But on the other hand, I know she has some soap on her. Give me your soap. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. I don't know if that is how video games work. My engineer is looking to do some deep cleaning. Cleansing wants to impress Chief Chunlai. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a whole makeover kit. And I snagged a couple for myself. High grade shampoo and conditioner. Scrubby brush. A nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them too. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such. Me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? You get a preference, Parvati? Oh, gosh. We never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Now, if I was a young thing trying to come on all precious-like, I'd probably go with Rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and cinnamon. I guess you could eeny miny mow it. Take your time, dear. A lady's sense says a lot about her. How about the uh, mock apple and cinnamon? Or about the sweet just to goodbye? Captain, I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. Uh, I want to talk to you too, about that opportunity you mentioned. Yes, dearie. Um, what did you want me to do again? Take that darling ship of yours down to Roseway, where that distress signal I told you about came from, and ferret out some tasty corporate secrets for old Gladys. Shouldn't be too tough for a fellow like you, I'd think. I mean, you're not wrong. I want to ask you about something else. What do else? you want, then? My hard-earned wisdom? You mentioned Crowdbreak is outside of the board's control? That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss Jun Lei. How do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. Who's Miss Chun Lei? Chief Jun Lei Tennyson. Used to be she was chief engineer before her mama passed, and she took the helm. She's neck deep in the ship guts by day, slap fighting with the board by night. She seems capable of handling the board well enough. Hold on. You already met her. What are you asking me about her for? I'm curious what you think of her. Bit straight-laced for my tastes, but that's just her nature. She's fierce, too. A fighter. And between you and me, I think the fight's starting to wear on her. Back to my other questions. Go right ahead, sweetheart. Uh, what did you hear? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. 
I also need throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion project. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. That's half the reason I make them, my dear. But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? Uh, why the pod recall still our pay in Alkis? Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Yum, yum, yum. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. What makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Are there still people down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch, but who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Thanks for your time. Any time, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if we can just uh, talk to her every time and maybe we'll get more candy each time. Maybe. Also, I wonder where can I find another one of those key cards? Since you can't just pick the six for some reason. The reason's unknown to me. Hey. My comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Here's your data backup. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief Jun Lei. Try not to spend it all in one place. I mean, it would boost your economy if I spend it all here, no? Uh, Parvati? Hey. I hope this fancy soap we got is extra strength. I'm feeling a mite ripe. So here's your soap. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish from Monarch. Dustback casserole. Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called, a uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. Now, there's gotta be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. All right, we'll figure it out. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. Well, it's a good thing we are heading to Monarch at some Are we gonna option. get in trouble today? Not that I want to, just... Seems to happen around you, is all. Maybe. Maybe a little bit of trouble. How are you doing? Something on your mind? Uh, no. Hey, if I currently come and say hi, how are you doing? Dr. Fenhill, I hope you've reconsidered my offer to stay on full time. My crew are never short on dents and bruises. I'm trying to live a more balanced life. Gun in one hand, scalpel in the other. I already knew it'd be easier to teach an auto mech heart surgery than to change your mind. Fair travels, Ellie. You two knew each other? Groundbreaker's a small town in a big ship, and anyone who spends any time here gets to know Jun Lei. We don't see a lot of competent surgeons on Groundbreaker. Dr. Fenhill is my on-again, off-again freelancer. I take it she'll be joining your crew full-time? I don't like to put a label on things. Let's keep it casual. If you ever decide to settle down, there's a home for you on Groundbreaker. I feel like if I can also get a house here, we could all have a home here on Groundbreaker. Because I know Parvati would enjoy working on a big ship. If you know what I mean. I mean, I ship it. 
I mean, I'm supposed to ship it. I don't Have know. You seen this man? Okay, do we have anything else we need from this ship right now? Do we have anything that we can get from this ship? Quest type, location. Groundbreaker, passage to Enila. Solution vital. Solution in the sky. These all require me to have access to the other place. So, let's start off easier. Hi. Uh, let's head back our, to our Where ship. And we are going to head to Roseware, I guess. Alternatively, we could go and say hi to... Wells. I want to go say hi to Wells. We haven't had a chance to say hi to Wells yet. And we, we can do that. Back for a rest. But... Is on the other hand... Yes, it is. Okay, uh, I want to look at... More dialogue. And a lot more persuade. Yeah, I was also thinking about... Something else, but I don't remember what it was. No, I can't remember. Yeah, sneaking and hacking and lockpicking, those are probably skills I also really want. But this, but I love talking in video games. It's good. Ooh, the collector snake oil. Oh, when you have no companions in your party. Okay, well, I'm not... I'm not really going around without people with me. So... Hmm. Uh, let's take that. Let's be honest. That's sort of what I really require. Okay, and... How often do they get feats again? My uh, perks even. This is not a feety game. I'm sorry, that sounded a bit different than what I had intended. Okay, so. We destroy this impact hammer, we can destroy the silencer, maybe? It does look pretty. But yeah. There are a lot of custom named ones, and I'm not entirely certain if I want to keep them or not. It may not be worth it. But it could be. And the man decided. Oh, uh, let's put some something on the on the vermin. We have a whisper quiet master or a fun time sparrow, because our companions probably are gonna help us when we are already in the middle of fun times. We might as well give fun time damage and max power. Sure, have fun burning people to death, Ellie. I know I had the fun with that, so I'm gonna hope that you will as well. Probably did I talk to you again? I seem to talk to you every time, and I like doing that. Sometimes I can hear Vickers saying prayers to himself. Sometimes I hear him cussing about toss ball scores. <laughs> okay, break time's over. Thank you for the talk. And... I doubt there's anything new here. You, you only just... Yeah. We're only just in and out. Make yourself at home, Captain. Oh, sword. I didn't mean to pick that up. Let's just put these back in there. Because Provat is clothing. He's an accessory. Formerly the property of Frey was humorously put to better use in your quarters. Okay. So. We do get to furnish our own quarters as well. It's not only the crew quarters that get the additional furnishing. Where did this plant come from? So like the spores of the buffalo cast of the wind and the light and fresh air, we put down new roots. Ah, thanks Adelaide. That's handy. Are, are, am I sure there's no messages for me? I am sure there's no messages for me. And I can't peek in on any more of uh, 
or what this product this is just and I think that's fine hmm I feel like that wasn't there before oh here's the little bug being very loud in Parvati's quarters. No other Parvati's never here. All right, how are you doing? As always, I am at your disposal. Anything you'd like to discuss? Uh, there are some things I don't understand about your religion. Yes. Besides the Grand Architect and the plan, what else do you believe? Scientism, as its name implies, believes that nature abhors equality. The strong survive and the weak perish for the betterment of the whole. And reason, not emotion, is the seat of all morality. Wisdom means accepting the vicissitudes of life with grace and dignity. Yes, that's what we read from your beads. That sounds like a cruel belief system. I prefer to think of it as looking at reality for what it truly is, not how we'd like it to be. Let's talk about something else. Yes. Uh, there's some things yes. I don't understand, and I would now like to tell you the ask simple about the plan again. Is this. The force which we call the Grand Architect created the universal equation that underlies and defines everything in the universe. Everything flows from the equation, or in layman's terms, the Grand Plan. Is the Grand Architect a consciousness? A natural force? Did it create the equation on purpose? The answers to these questions don't really matter. The equation, the plan, is all that matters. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in the plan. That's a convenient way to control the masses. It can be, if abused. But that can be said about anything. However, in the case of the board and Halcyon, sadly, I believe you are correct. Oh, yeah. And well, I'm glad he also agrees on that. Um. Okay, I have a big concern here. I have a very large concern here. Ooh. The richest symbol on this flag. I think I haven't noticed that flag before. Uh. Hephaestus Hammers, and you are a fan of the Hammersmith Thunder. Ooh, I hope that's not gonna be a problem. I really do. Hey. This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. And whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. Do we know anything about who sent the call? What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but... Maybe an opportunity for us. Uh, why would they just call for corporate reinforcements? With a lot of these companies, the thrashing you take from your boss is worse than whatever a bunch of marauders will do to you. Doesn't exactly encourage calling for aid when there's a fuck up. Could be a trap. I'm counting on it. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. Yeah. Something feeling... on your mind? Um, no. Felix? Good to see you, boss. How are you doing? Never mind. You're just glitching a little. That's fine. Ooh, more Spectrum Vodka. Nice. Well, we really do need to go and find some cake. And that's what we're gonna look Have at next time. Such a She's a custom specification. Is she? Hey. You said it was a pretty Felix difficult engine, didn't you? Me to watch some adventure serial with him? It's not my thing, but he's real sweet about it. Make them over. Are you sure the engine is custom? Because... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we will head over to Roseway to find a little bit more out about that business. Bye-bye.